Hello, this is Hiroja Scheib uh, with another episode of Hiroja's Thought Bubble. And I wanted to talk about, you know, my personal journey, my thoughts about us, you know, getting past 5K and moving on up in the world. So I thought we should take a little walk. And as I was like, you know, walking, um, thinking about the, the, the road that we're on, this path, and maybe other people are on the same path, maybe there's different sets of people on this path, Um, I'm not sure, but I was just just thinking of the path of the cryptocurrency community as a whole, the path of Bitcoin, us trying to, you know, do something that is both different, yet at the same time, um, is the same thing as almost everything else, in a sense, Uh, we're taking, you know, similar concepts or ideas or belief structures that have existed in the world for quite some time now and some of it we're turning our head its head on you know the ability for people to uh, own their own particular wealth from just the get-go that there's not a centralized authority that is issuing monetary policy that the individual is creating this monetary policy so we basically have taken a fork in the road if you will we have uh, gone on our own path And even though we've gone our own path, you know, it's a path that's been kind of somewhat traveled before. I mean, we're we're not necessarily the first to have done this. I mean, you know, there's been like Liberty Coin. There has been other attempts throughout the century into which people sought to create their own wealth that doesn't require a central authority. And they have failed. Uh, if you direct violence, uh, well, mostly violence, or it just didn't succeed. And this made me think about the different types of paths that we can take in the cryptocurrency space. Are we going to take this kind of well-traveled path where we kind of know some of the checkpoints and some of the things that we need to do? Or do we have to go on different paths, ones that are not as well-worn, as well-developed, or... S- as secure. I mean, we're reaching into a monetary place where people are really, really, really seriously taking note of, of us, particularly existing institutions. Uh, and do we pivot? Do we go down a much safer path so that we can exist? Something that may be still, you know, rough and tumultuous and not as quite as developed as other paths, maybe not as easy as the existing economic system. It's still something that would be one of our own, but something that's very safe. Where all the the road markers and the signs are in place, where all the safety guards and the the warning signs that tell us uh, what's ahead and what to expect. Should we go down that path? And it it seems at this present point, it seems like with the exchanges and the companies that are being developed, that that is ty- kind of ty- the type of path that we're going on. And I'm wondering if we have the courage to just kind of just fork again and just forge on our own and kind of skip along, skip off these paths and make our own path. One that doesn't have any really significant safety or any safety is significant uh, relief of any kind. Uh, One that may in fact uh, be a little dangerous, a little tumultuous, that might have some hidden uh, obstacles or significant uh, blockage. One in which we might be uh, either victimized or even shunned from society as a whole or even persecuted for the simple fact that we seek to create an institution or a world in which every individual has a right to kind of control their own personal wealth, their own personal property, from the moment of their existence until they no longer exist. Oh, yeah, I I like cactuses. I just want to show you that. I kind of think these might be like baby uh, Joshua trees, but I don't know enough um, about cacti to give it a a description, if you will. But kind of going on, going back to the path here, um, yeah, it's it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy. 
we're going to lose some wealth. We're going to lose some people. We're going to get very disappointed. Uh, people are going to go to jail. People have already gone to jail over cryptocurrency, over Bitcoin. There's going to be places where we're going to find ourselves in a little bit of stagnation. Uh, where there's not going to be that much growth because we are either hunkering down or we're refining already what um, already exists in the space. Because we're trying to build ourselves up, our energy up to the next thing. And I, I think some people think of stagnation. I think we kind of have to take away from those type of old terms and really reflect on what it is that we're doing. Everything is new, so we can't really apply old terms to this current, you know, existing model. So we might end up, you know, hopping on and off of existing forge ideas that may have occurred before, maybe trying to make it new. Maybe we might start, you know, side, you know, that's not the right path. It's nice for a little bit, but we're gonna hop back on and forge our new path, forge our new way. Uh, trying to get, in essence, our end goal, which is uh, securing what we need for, uh, in life. The ability for someone to be self-sovereign and not to have everything so tied to any particular central authority, corporations, or even one's identity, really. But it's not going to be easy. There's going to be many um, gaps. There's going to be many times that we are going to have to forge long distances and start anew or start from the beginning again in sense much like uh, people are rethinking exchanges uh, you're starting to see a ramp up of more decentralized exchanges in existence you're starting to see more um, you know the atomic swapped where everything's going to be done in one's wallet uh, and you don't have to have even a decentralized exchange you don't even have to have fiat uh, we are getting there, but we're not quite there yet. We have a long ways to go. So, it made me think, you know, is it a good thing that we're past 5,000, that we're at 5,800, that we're reaching almost 6,000, that we might even potentially hit 10,000 in a two months' time by the end of the year, or even... Um, sometime very early 2018 will that be good for the community or will we have priced out the very same people oh hey James Bond look Robin Hood anyways back to my thought or will we have really priced out the people that we keep telling ourselves that we are we're helping that we're trying to save from the current economic system I mean, is that just simply a lie? Are we playing a game of musical chairs? Are we more upset by the fact that we are not part of the 1%? That we are not part of the establishment? That we're not the ones in charge? And because we're so brilliant and we're so great and we have the great ideas, but because of the establishment, because of society, we're not where we're supposed to be. We're not able to forge these new ideas or do these creations or be the ones in charge because of corruption and because of society because of the one percent and this is just a you know game of musical chairs where we've created a financial system where you know the very first movers if you will just like the old system if your great 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 grandpappy you know secured some significant amount of land you know by slaughtering the people that previously owned the land held on to it got the mineral rights you know by hook or crook maintain that position if you will will um, you know having the whole generational wealth thing where pretty much the same sets of families or same sets of people um, are in charge or are we truly forging a new path are we truly trying to climb to a better awareness climbing to a better understanding of not only ourselves as people but helping and assisting our fellow man so that they too can uh, have self self sovereigns and that will require sacrifice that might, might may in fact require that we might lose a bit of our position we might not have as much as the pie if you will we may end up only only in a fraction of a bitcoin 
or maybe just one Bitcoin and not hundreds or thousands of Bitcoins, if you will. I mean, it's a difficult concept. It's a rocky concept. It's not an easy one. Um, it's one that might have to be done in which um, it's done alone. I mean, if you think about it, there's only going to be 20, 21 million Bitcoins in existence. That means not all of us are going to own Bitcoin. It means that some of us are only going to own a fraction of a Bitcoin. It means that Satoshis are going to matter. Bits are going to matter. And what does that mean? I mean, we currently live, or currently the existing Bitcoin legacy system doesn't acknowledge that bits matter. Now that, you know, the price has risen to such a point where small amounts of what people used to consider spamming on the network matter. A Satoshi matters. If you believe the rumor about Venezuela where one Satoshi uh, is worth more than one Bolivian dollar, then bits matter and the fees haven't adjusted to that mindset or thinking. We as a community have adjusted really to that mindset and thinking of bits and Satoshis mattering. So these are the kind of things I was thinking as I was doing my walk and thinking about the path that we're on and the the different paths that we can take and how we travel and what direction we're going and what roads we are actually building for ourselves. Are we switching to on, on and off of the existing concepts and ideas? Are we plugging and playing too much? Are we not focusing on the right things? Are we not doing enough long-term thinking? Is there not enough imagination of flexible thinking, if you will, or vision within this space to truly, fully build a new economic system for all because the goal is to kind of get to the top to get to the top of i don't know freedom hill or our end goal of this new system because it's a gorgeous view on top of freedom hill to be able to have the freedom to see and do all the things that you want to do in life so that's it for now so that's it for now I hope not too too melancholy um, about this whole price rise, but it was just some f- thoughts I had about waking up and seeing that it's not only broken five thousand, but exceeded five thousand and expanded almost close to six. So that's my thoughts. Bye for now, Do and uh, to the moon. Oh, please like and subscribe. And if you like my thoughts or you want to help in any way, uh, here are the donation QR codes. Until next time.